Well, let's uh, head to the cinema because uh, it's been months since any of us probably have been to the cinema, but if everything goes to plan, they could be reopening next month. And the film industry if we can't come fast enough. The people are Pinewood champing at the bit. Well, it's not surprising there are some big blockbuster movies coming out this summer. Let's have a listen. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Why don't you bring me in? You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel. No. Inversion. Ancestors, please protect her. What is your name, soldier? Hua Jun, commander, son of Hua Zhou. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. Sounds big, doesn't it? That was Tenant, the new film from Christopher Nolan and Disney's latest live-action remake of Mulan. Now, uh, let's find out more from film critic and host of Offscreen Podcast, Van Connor. Hello, Van. And hello to you, Phil. Two big movies of the summer? Yes, two big movies of the summer. This is uh, really the sum total of what we're looking at for July this year. Obviously, July is looking to be the first month for the cinemas to reopen. There are things stacked for, for August. Wonder Woman 1984, for instance, is, is set to open in August. We've had a few that have been shunted to there as well. I think Peter Rabbit 2 had been uh, had been put there at one stage. I think that's been moved again since. But like I say, unfortunately, we, we are living in a time of uncertainty at this moment as regards when things can reopen and when we can actually get back in cinemas. And then there's also the question as to whether or not anybody wants to go back into cinema so early. Yeah, so that, there's, that's a question in, in its own right, isn't it? But I mean, and things like obviously when I mentioned Pinewood, I immediately thought of uh, James Bond, and that was delayed anyway, wasn't it? it? Was meant to be out earlier this year, but they've delayed that to the autumn now, haven't they? That's been pushed to the end of this year. Yes. Fast and Furious Nine was meant to be out, I believe. Yeah, in the next week that's been pushed to next year it's uh, it's a case of trying to find available slots to put these films because ordinarily we would get one or two big movies a week and when you lose the film calendar for you know several months that then you know obviously means that we could have many many crammed weeks to come in the months ahead yes because obviously they had films ready and raring to go like the ones we've just heard there um but with filming being delayed, is there going to be a moment where we have a sort of dry patch down the line? Predictably, that has to happen. And you would assume you could actually get around that by actually spacing out the release of these films. But again, from the perspective of the studios, that puts them in a hell of a bind because these are finished properties. These are things that cost you know hundreds of millions of dollars that are sat on a shelf. I mean, right now, there's a completed James Bond film, You know, a $250 million James Bond movie sat on a shelf. We have a $200 million Marvel movie sat on a shelf. Disney have Mulan sat on a shelf. It's a case of literally burning a hole in your own pocket by holding on to these things but then again we can't exactly put out for instance trailers saying these are coming out in august or anything like that because it's wasting an advertising campaign in the case for instance of tenet you would notice in the actual trailer there is no release date actually on that it's set to come out on july 17th but the trailer noticeably only says 2020 it doesn't say an actual release date simply to save on marketing costs that's quite something isn't it really and and another aspect is is i imagine when uh, the new year arrives 2021 and then we start talking about awards and you know the golden globes and the oscars that sort of thing the BAFTAs, it's going to have a knock on there as well, isn't it? We absolutely are. I mean, there is talk of delaying the Oscars next year because the films that would otherwise have been serious Oscar contenders that would have been the logical frontrunners simply won't have been released in time or they won't have you know, been able to have been screened for as many critics as they need to be. They wouldn't have gone through the awards bodies in time. And it's got a knock on effect, unfortunately, until the world returns to normal, as it were film can't return to normal either it's one and the other really well it's going to be a fascinating year whatever happens uh, looking forward to seeing the return of the cinema but thank you very much indeed uh, that is uh, van connor there uh, the film critic and host of off screen right it's 10 minutes to four right now BBC.